Good morning, uh, rotations. Today we're going to be looking at how we rotate shapes. Whenever we've got a question about rotation, there are going to be three types of um, elements or information inside that question. The first piece of information you're going to get is they're actually going to tell you to rotate the shape. Um, that will kind of stop confusing you from either reflecting it or enlarging it or transforming it. The second piece of information they'll give you will be the direction uh, they're asking you to rotate the shape. In this case here, it's going to be 90 degrees anti-clockwise. And then the third piece of information is about the centre of rotation. That's at the point at which you rotate the shape around. They don't normally use the word centre in a, in a question. You'll normally get the word about. So if you see the word about, that means the centre of rotation. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we trace our shape. I've done this earlier to save a bit of time. We trace our shape. With your centre, you mark it on this tracing paper. So we've got 2 minus 1. So 2 and minus 1. I mark it with a little cross like that. So we've uh, talked about the centre. Now we're going to have a look at the direction. So it's 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So you put your pen in the centre of your cross on your, on your tracing paper and then you rotate. This is where you rotate. So we're rotating 90 degrees anti-clockwise. That's against the clock. Okay? And then what you'll see is the triangle will move to its new rotated position. So we've gone a quarter turn anti-clockwise. So you can either sort of mark heavily here where, where the points are going to be. So they've come through and then we'll mark that top point up as well. And then that will give you the opportunity then to draw the new triangle in its rotated position. So performed. Recap again, rotation, we've turned it 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the centre 2 minus 1. Okay, let's have a look at this example here. Again, we're rotating. The direction this time is 90 degrees clockwise, so we've got to go with the clock this time. And the centre is about the origin. Now, if it ever says about the origin, it means naught naught. Okay, so the origin is naught naught. So if you see that word, Without a coordinate, that's what you do. So, um, as before, we're going to trace our shape, which has been done already. Then we're going to mark the origin, naught naught, stick our pen in. This time we're going to go um, 90 degrees clockwise. So we're going to go with the clock, 90 degrees clockwise, quarter turn there, and that shape will fall down into its new position. Again, dot, 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 dot. And our shape will end up here. Now, one final thing that I'll, I'll do is I've mentioned um, well, there are actually three ways in which you can rotate a shape. 90 degrees anti-clockwise, 90 degrees clockwise, or sometimes they say 180 degrees. They don't say it clockwise or anti-clockwise, because remember, um, 180 degrees would be exactly halfway. But if you see 180 degrees, this is what you'll do. I'll do it in a different colour. You'd actually have to do another turn. So we've, we've gone, first of all, we've gone 90 degrees clockwise. So the 90 degrees clockwise. So then 180 degrees is going to be here. So it's another 90 degree turn. Clockwise or anti clockwise, remember, it doesn't matter. And then we can just mark the coordinate position I call it here to get our new shape in its rotated position. That's the example then of 180 degrees. So, there, that's how you do it, rotation of shapes.